hope your seatbelts were on for that overtime. It's a period that delivered all of the entertainment as it's Darnell Nurse who delivers the OT winner with his eighth of the regular season. Tony Barr here alongside Joaquin Gage. And along with Darnell Nurse getting in the goal column, Joaquin, it's Matthias Ekholm also registering his second multi-goal game in his NHL career. The defense comes up large. Well, it's good he's waited this long to start showing his offensive prowess. And you know, if you're on a team with Connor McDavid, I guess he starts to score in two goals a game. But Matthias Ekholm, what can you say about this guy? The record after he's joined the Oilers, it's just the perfect piece that's fit. I was able to uh, go to a breakfast this morning, Tony, with some season ticket holders and got a chance to talk to Ken Holland and he spoke, when he spoke to the season ticket holders, he, he's had his eye on this player for a long time and has seen the growth. We know how Ken Holland has somehow found magic in Sweden with some really good defensemen. Um, it's just par for the course for him, but I love the fact that he's just flourishing in, in his new surroundings, saying all the right things, likes to be in Edmonton, and it's showing on the ice. He's, uh, he's becoming, as we saw with that first star and talking at the end of the game, one of the fan favorites. There's going to be a lot more Ekholm jerseys by tomorrow in this city. <laughs> a lot more 14s going around as the Oilers pick up win number 40 with Monday night's victory. But it's the second straight game where the Oilers maybe didn't necessarily put together a full 60 minutes, yet found a way to win that hockey game, Joaquin. It's a, it's, it's a mark of a good team. Like, that they you don't want them not playing a full 60, like, all the time, but they can still hold it together just battling through. Jack Campbell just had a battling type of game. The the Oilers video department, the the unofficial first star <laughs> yeah. of tonight's game. Um, just a full team effort. They're, they're a tough team to play against and they're getting contributions not only from 97 and, and, and 29 but from everyone else in the lineup. That's, a, that's very worrisome for a lot of Pacific Division teams I think. Hey, Matias Ekholm had two goals on the night but Jeremy and Noah had a hat trick in this one. They obviously played a big part. Three overturned goals on behalf of the San Jose Sharks as they look to end a, set, a six game skid, eventually turns into a seven game skid. And how about Jack Campbell? Picks up his first win since February 11th. Listen, he would be the first to admit that he probably needed to have those uh, those goals back, but when it mattered most in that overtime period, Jack Campbell delivered. Yeah, and as a goalie, you want to play great every game. You want to be the difference maker, but when things are going wrong, and, and things kind of went wrong for Jack Campbell this evening in this game, but he was able to per persevere, get through, make some huge saves. The one that sticks out in my mind is the hurdle save in overtime where just above the pad, below the blocker, he keeps it out, freezes it, gives the Oilers a chance to come back. It's almost better, I think, Tony, that he has a game like this where he just has to battle for 65 minutes instead of just having a, like a perfect game because there's a emotionally and, and mentally there's a lot to build on and really that's the most important thing as a goalie. 28 saves for his 18th victory of the season as the Oilers continue this homestand when they host the Arizona Coyotes on Wednesday night. Joaquin, thanks for this.